effortless efficiency, not just for seniors, for every single golfer, but especially if you're a senior golfer, this takes away so much more strain and relying on hand-eye coordination and speed here. And then that shaft is pointing straight down towards my feet, where most of you will probably be here. Dead simple. Easy. But even if you have a short backswing, you can deliver very good consistency and power. We need to have suppleness and feel just a couple of things that give you the confidence to be consistent and have that effortless golf swing that you can enjoy. Let's get into it. An effortless golf swing for seniors. How about getting a golf swing that gives you more consistency and even power with less effort? That's pretty good, I'd say. I want that. I would wager you want that. And it's not that difficult. When you follow these kind of very simple principles and tips, you are going to really be much closer to that goal. Welcome my friends. If you're new to the channel, I am Alex Forte and this is the Art of Simple Golf where we're just trying to make this game easier, more enjoyable. And it's not a simple game, but we are trying to make it more simple for you. Okay, so even though I'm you know, focusing on more experienced in life golfers, this certainly helps everyone. And you know what? This is kind of like a go-to that I give people and I've used myself to, uh, you know, remove a lot of the extra movements and effort that it takes, especially if you haven't been playing. Now, I know a lot of you, whether it's due to weather, lockdowns back in Europe or whatever it might be, are really just trying to get back into golf. And I'm going to do another video on that uh, pretty quickly, uh, just so we can kind of get it out to you guys. But this really does help because it's sort of shortening the movements, especially in the backswing to enable you to shallow the downswing and just be efficient. OK, so it's effortless efficiency not just for seniors, for every single golfer, but especially if you're a senior golfer, this takes away so much more strain and relying on hand-eye coordination and speed. So there's a couple of things that we're gonna cover. Number one is just about the understanding that, I talk about this a lot, so I'm gonna cover it very quickly. It's just understanding that the grip needs to have a good firm hold because we want to be able to deliver with intent, okay? But we need to have suppleness in the forearms and the wrists so we can feel the weight of the club. The more you can feel the weight of the club, the more effortless a goal swing will be. If I really exaggerate and do this, okay? That, I didn't actually have it registered on the thing, but if I did this, Okay, that's barely anything. All I'm doing is sort of starting momentum and allowing the arms just to swing with gravity. We might want a little bit more than that. If you don't want to, great, just do that. Carry on, see you in the next lesson. But I want you to remember that as a tenant for an effortless golf swing that's gonna give you consistency because we're not trying to force our arms into positions wherever it might be because you do that not only is it difficult on the body it's just more or less impossible to repeat consistently especially if you're not practicing for hours and hours and hours a day so you've got the soft wrists with a firm feel and feeling the weight of the club it's pure gold now we go on to the main rub of this effortless golf swing which is the backswing position for the wrist. Because what we're going to do is shorten the feeling and the movement we have to do. I've got a video not long ago um, that talks about, you know, not turning and winding up. Got another one talking about even if you have a short backswing, you can deliver very good consistency and power. I'll try and link those below. But, you know, if you feel worried that you've got a short backswing, 
or you worry and think that, man, this is, you know, golf's hard because I, I need to not only do a take takeaway, I need to do a half swing, then I need to complete my back swing, then I've got a transition. That's a lot, right? Especially if you haven't been playing or you're just trying to have friend, fun with your friends, whatever it might be on the golf course. So if we can minimize this movement, but still give us the chance to square up the club face, to shallow the club and get that power without forcing the body, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna go into the mechanics too much. It's just about a feel that I want you to have and you can grab a mirror, you can do whatever you need to. On the takeaway, on this sort of halfway position, feeling the weight of the club, instead of having the, the tendency which people do, which is to turn and whip the club on the inside or to pick it up this way if you're resisting, you know, we want to clear the hips, we want to do that. But instead of the arms having to move all this way, let's really remove it. I want you to feel like the butt of the club here is just moving to here, okay? Just there. But notice this shaft angle, all right? You might think of Matt Wolf or someone like that, or, you know, Calvin Pete, if you remember him. It's sort of this sensation, okay? You will not, I very much doubt, accomplish this. But you do this here, what's going to happen is the weight of the club, as you make just a general movement to kind of swing back through, is going to tip and naturally shallow out because of the weight of the club. It gets tricky if we are over here and the weight of the club is dropping us. It's, you know, to combat that feeling, that's what happens. And that's where the effort comes in. But if we feel like the short um, movement here with the butt of the club, pointing at the hip a little bit more into this position, and then we transition back through to the ball, it's a much more succinct, easy movement to uh, re, you know, produce and reproduce. And it looks something like this. So it's going to feel like you, the, the hands are sort of ahead of the club head. See that? We're not here and we're not picking the arms up. It's just this movement here. And then that shaft is pointing straight down towards my feet, where most of you will probably be here. And what, if it goes moderately well, it's going to look something like this. Okay? It's going to look something like that. And I sort of held on to the face a little bit there. But the feeling that I want you to have is very much just um, as if you were throwing a ball. And you can even do that with from here. We're there, okay? That's the sensation we want. And with a club, even with just one hand, really feel the weight of the club this way. And it's going to be steeper, but it's going to be shorter. And from this, act, this angle, you're going to see that it's, we're not sort of trying to get it out here. We're not tucked in too tight. We are just there. And what I want you to have is this natural sort of flow. See that? There's like a natural lag because it's the weight of the club because I'm allowing it to do most of the work for me. And it's just that sort of smooth action. And that is what's gonna give you that effortless feel. So it might appear like a very short swing, but it's an efficient swing. And it's just this flow. And without any real effort, without any real thoughts, you can accomplish a very good backswing, but it's gonna give you the time to shallow through and just release the hands that way, okay? It's really easy, and I want you to practice it right now. If you can, get up out of your chair, grab a club, even if you don't have a club, you know what? Forget the club. I'm just gonna hold my thumb in this, in this manner. I'm gonna feel like my thumb is pointing down to my trail hip here, and then I just allow it to 
transition as I move back. I'm not here, I'm not trying to force the hands down. It's just this natural shallowing action. And it should feel pretty good. And from here, it's there. Another thing I really love about this is it gives you time. It almost feels like you've got a partial eternity back here because we're just waiting for it's like a beautiful feeling to feel that no we're not trying to be Jim Furyk where we're like this but just to be able to feel that natural sort of shallow without having to do anything just gives you that much more time and when you have time it doesn't necessarily mean slow it just means that you're not trying to rush it you're not trying to swing through and hit it hard you're just allowing a nice smooth swing to sling the arms through and to fire the hands down as you get better at it to get you more speed, all right? It's wonderful, try it. So we just set up here, a little rehearsal, straightening the right leg a little bit, short swing, Almost feeling like the shaft is pointing down to my feet, but with those supple wrists, it will shallow. And away we go. Dead simple. Easy. Little fades, perfectly fine with it. If I wanted to sort of practice hitting some draws, I can do that. I just have to wait a little bit more and fire the hands that way a touch. So it's just going to look something like this. If you liked it, let me know. If you're going to try it, let me know. And next time, we're going to go into something that's going to give you a bit more sort of power, all right? Thanks for watching. See you.